Hey, and welcome to the training on how to set up your marketing for your fitness business. Now here I've got three boxes. Now you may have seen this before, you may have not seen this before, but please do not skip ahead because I'm gonna be going into extra detail for you, our beloved Freedom University members. So with that said, these three boxes represent three different types of audiences. Now you can imagine these boxes as buckets, you can imagine them as lanes, as in swimming lanes at different speeds, but I'm gonna imagine them as ski slopes. Now if you've ever done skiing in Europe, this is, the ski slopes are rated on different uh, gradients for beginner, intermediate, and advanced. The beginner slope is the blue slope. So I'm gonna draw a little man here with my best things with his skis on him. Here he is, look at him go. Oh, that arm's a bit long. Let's just, let's just shorten his arm down. And there he is with his ski poles. Cool, here's my man on the blue slope. So just in case we were lost, this is the guy on the blue slope. All right, now the blue slope, is where 90% of your audience are gonna be chilling. And we're gonna to come to that in a second. The second slope that we have, or the second group of people, if you can imagine, is what we've got is called the red slope. So in skiing, you'll know this is like the intermediate slope where you probably spend most of your time if you ski, unless you're an absolute pro and you're going down the black stuff. So here we've got my little red man. He's more confident. He understands a bit more about how to actually ski. He's been in the game for a while and uh, he's having a great time as well. Down the slope he goes, this guy's got no poles. He's just absolutely rocking it. And then over here on the final one, we've got the black slope. So this is the same, wherever you are in the world, this is known to be like absolute pros. This is where a very small percentage compared to these two slopes, people will go and ski. So we've got our black skier down here. He's having a great time on his skis. Let's give him some arms. And he's rocking down that slope as well. So we've got these three different types of, of skiers down here. Now let's start off with the blue slope because this is where 90% of your audience is gonna be. Okay, so 90% of your audience is going to fit into this category, which we're going to be calling the blue slope. And this is because they're very cautious. So just like a brand new beginner skier, this dude over here or this girl over here, she hasn't seen any of your content yet. So she's naturally very cautious. So she's not going to suddenly buy something. Just as a skier who's brand new to skiing isn't suddenly going to go all the way over to the black scope and start throwing themselves down it because they're not stupid, right? So the same over here. We're very cautious when, whenever we have someone in our space to start off with, they wanna to get to know you. Just like on a date, that person's got to get to know you first. You don't suddenly just go in for the ask, hey, will you come home with me? So the guy on the blue slope is gonna be where 90% of your audience are. They're not ready to take action yet. They're not these action takers down here. They're also gonna be very cautious and it's your job to create brand awareness. That's what you wanna be doing here. You're not trying to sell them anything. You're not trying to pitch them ideas. You're not trying to, Give them a ton of information and huge ebooks to try and sell them into your products or get them really informed about what you do. You're just trying to create brand awareness. And the reason we want to do this is people are never going to buy anything from you or even read anything from, from you unless they understand what you actually do. Like how many times have you been speaking to someone and be like, I have no idea what this person is doing. Like why are they telling me this stuff? How is that relevant to me? Well, you've got to do that by your brand awareness. And if you've created your brand properly, hopefully that should be quite easily easy to do. So the whole point of this over here is you want to start to create content in your marketing that takes less than seven minutes to consume. All right, now this isn't an exact science, but roughly you don't want to be creating things that take more than seven minutes. So whenever you create yourself some text or video or even an infographic for that, read through it, watch it and ask yourself, does that take me more than seven minutes to get through? If it does, then it's going to be probably too long for, for a first time lead magnet because up here we're talking about first time lead magnets, which we'll go into more detail by the way of how to build those later. But First time lead magnets want to be very, very short. They want to be actionable. Um, they want to be goal orientated. Uh, and by doing that, they want to be less than seven minutes. All right, so nice and short. So over here, what would that mean? So if I'm creating my first time lead magnet for someone, one of the best things that I can do is create a 60 second awareness video. And if you go into Google and you type in um, one minute video, I believe you'll be able to actually pull that up. Uh, it's com called components of a one minute video type that or components of a 60 second video. Type that into Google. That's gonna show you how you create an awareness piece of content. Okay, it's just four stages and it will show you how to do that. So a 60 second video is a really good way of doing this. Other good things that you can create here are infographics. So I'll put info. We can put cheat sheets, so CS, just like five tips on a cheat sheet. What we can do, all those, all those awareness videos, so we'll just put AV for the video. So that's basically these just in a video format. If you're more inclined to do video, that is if you're more inclined to do visual, you do the infographic. If you're more inclined for written, you'll do the cheat sheet. So there's different ways you can do this. Remember, it depends on what your master skill is when it comes to creating content. So now I've got this person over on this blue slope and they've started to consume my content. Hopefully it's taken them less than seven minutes. They're aware of what my brand does. And I've basically, what, I've, what I wanna do here is I wanna dig into their pain. That's how you form an emotional connection with this person. So in your case, you might actually tell them a very short story 
about you and how the brand came into existence and now what you do um, and the pain that you've gone through and how they're probably feeling that pain too. And we'll give you more examples of this in future future trainings for sure in this in this particular module. But you can see now that's what that's all targeted towards. So very short, very easy to consume, just something to get someone quickly into your space. So it's gonna be that initial first up offering, just like that first time the skier goes on your slope, it's just nice and they're getting used to what they're doing. Their, their back's up, they're cautious, don't try and pitch them anything. The next one is this guy on the red slope over here. Now on this, you're gonna find around seven to 9% of your audience are gonna be rocking down this slope, okay? Because the idea, by the way, what we wanna be doing is we wanna be taking this person from the blue slope and we wanna be moving them across to the red slope. So once they've consumed our short content, we now give them some more content, which is gonna be information-based. So the seven to 9% of the population as such are all ready to, to get information. So you may have spoken to someone before who doesn't care about your brand, doesn't care about anything, they just wanna start like jumping into the information. That's a smaller percentage of the audience, but you wanna be moving your audience across the slopes, just like you would if you were a skier trying to get better. So this person up, up here is now, like they were on skiing, they're in search of more information to become a better skier or to actually achieve their goal, which in this instance would, might be weight loss or muscle gain, whatever it is. So they're after info now, that's what they want. Now, because they want information, it's your job to do that. And what you wanna do here is create content or lead magnets that deliver a result in advance, okay? So I'm gonna put RA here, so results in advance. So the whole idea of this is you wanna be giving them something where it gives them that mental breakthrough and then they go and implement that thing and they go, oh, actually that makes sense, I can do that, cool, I wanna now potentially move over to the black slope where they buy your program, that's what this is over here. Now this is typically gonna be less than 45 minutes long to consume, all right? So it's because you've got that person's buy-in, just like they were on a ski slope, they can't last more than seven minutes in one go because they're beginners, but these guys are more intermediate, they're more actually on the lookout now, they're on the lookout for more information. So they're actually gonna be welcoming more, more content from you as such. So it could be longer pieces of content. What does that look like? Well, this is where you could go and create the whole dreaded ebook that's massively over, overused in the industry. It's a bit outdated now. People try and use ebooks over here and that's a bad idea. It's just too much inf information too soon. So I could be producing an ebook here. I could be producing a video series, so just like five videos or something in a row. Or what works really well is, is the free mini course, also known as a challenge, so like a five, day challenge, which might just be five videos in a row um, across five days where you can teach them your process. That's what you want to be doing, teaching them the methodology that you use to get clients a result because they understand your brand. They want to now understand your process because they're interested. And that might take 45 minutes for them to do that. Okay, so now I've done that, I can actually move these guys across to my black slope. So if you can just imagine in an ideal world, they'd see your awareness video or your, your cheat sheet they would consume that and they'd click next, which would take them to your red slope, which then might give them more information. They click next, it takes them to their black slope where they'll buy. Now, of course, for most people, that's not gonna happen within a day. That might be a process that takes three months. It might be a process that takes seven days. It might, it completely depends on the person. But the idea is they'll fall into one of these categories and you need to keep giving them more content from that category before they naturally click through to do the next thing, whether that's on an email, whether that's on an advert, whatever it is, the idea is to keep moving them through the slopes and just keep giving them more content for where they are in that buying cycle before moving them to the next. So the final slope is that black slope over here. So if you think about someone on the black slope, these are where your action takers are. So typically this is gonna be about 1% of your audience. So one to 3% of your audience are gonna be chilling out over here. Now these guys um, are advanced, okay? So they're ready to take action. This is the key here. They've all, they're, they're, they're one of two things. They've been through these previous stages with you or they're in so much pain right now they don't care what it is, they're just gonna get action. Like imagine if you were really hungry and you get to that point where you just do not care what the food is anymore, you're just gonna buy and eat the first thing that you see. Like that's these people over here, but most people aren't in that position. Um, they're actually gonna be moving through your content first. But these action takers over here, the whole idea is that you're gonna provide them with a conversion mechanism. You need something that's gonna sell them into your products and services so you can make money. Now, typically this could be anything that is more than 45 minutes. So it could be up to, you know, you see some webinars for two hours, it's a bit long, but anyway, it could be more than 45 minutes. And this is where you can be doing things such as webinars. You can be doing sales calls or what we call transformation sessions with people. Um, it might be a sales letter, so a long written letter with testimonials on it and all that kind of stuff as well. So now you can see really what's trying to happen. We're trying to move these people from the blue slope to the red slope to the black slope as they become more advanced, as they become more inquisitive, as they start to know you better and become more confident in what they're doing, they're gonna more likely buy your stuff. So hopefully from this little diagram, you can understand now the three different types of 
categories that you can put your prospects into and the idea is to market them at the right time because marketing is about matching it's not about manipulating so it's about giving them the right content at the right time that suits them so you need to know exactly where they are in the journey um, by producing content and checking engagement with them and we're going to be showing you how you do all that kind of stuff but this is just a real quick overview I know this video has probably gone on a little bit longer than I wanted it to but hopefully you guys can see there's three main different buckets that people fall into and we can just refer to them as the ski slopes of blue red and black so I hope that was helpful if you guys have got any questions of course reach out down below or in, in the community we'll help you there and we will be going into loads more training on how to action all this stuff for now but just print this out take a screenshot in your mind stick it up on your wall so you can just remember it for the rest of your life and uh, that's it over and out from me and speak soon.